Hi, Maria, back with another video. It's 6 19 a.m. Um, Tuesday morning, February, I believe it's the 27th, I think, whatever. Anyway, so um, it's raining today, so when it rains, there's no work where I, 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 I work at. So I'm going to be staying home today. Um, I'm not going to go back to bed right away because I'm not tired. I'm kind of programmed to be up at this hour now. <laughs> so um, I decided to work on um, my projects. So my projects today is I want to try to talk about buying clothes secondhand. And, um, you know, as everyone knows, I like clothes, okay? <laughs> and, um, you know, there are certain skirts that... Um, I actually need more pants, okay, but I went to the thrift store last weekend, and um, I went to the Salvation Army, to be exact, and I was looking through the clothes racks, and, you know, when it comes to jeans, I'm really picky about jeans, <clears throat> like, I don't like um, jeans with, like, patches on the back, you know, sometimes you have little pockets, and there's a bunch of embroidery work on there, I don't like drawing attention to that, I don't, I don't, I like it plain, preferably, okay, or maybe like um, the little, I guess that little Levi thing is fine. I mean, I've been wearing Levi's for years. So Levi's I don't have an issue with. Or Lee jeans, that small little squiggle, that's fine too, okay. But like those big embroidery patches, I avoid them like a plague. Which there tends to be an abundance of those in the thrift store, so I ignored those. Um, so I, I opted for some of the skirts, okay. Now these are skirts that I would not wear to work. These are skirts that, you know, like uh, they're runaround clothes, I call them. <laughs> Like, for example, you know, you want to um, run, quickly go to the store, or you're just hanging out in the house, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so, um, I do recommend, you know, always being presentable, when, even in your own home, okay? Because, you know, it's about feeling good about yourself. And so, you should always look your best, even when you're the only person looking at yourself. So, I decided to show you the first that I'm going to be modifying. Um, the first one... I don't know if this is a dress or if it, it looks like it's a, it's a, what do you call it? A strapless dress. It could be, okay? And if you recognize this kind of, this kind of garment, please let me know because I've seen these before in the thrift store and I've ignored them because I'm like, um, I don't get it. But I believe it's a skirt, okay? So I'm going to put it on the mannequin like it's a skirt, okay? Um, and it looks about the right length for me. So I may not even have to modify it. It looks, it's cute, okay? It's really cute. And it's not really usually the colors that I would choose, but I like patchwork. I like a lot of different um, colors mixed together. So I got this one right here, and I think it's cute. Now, if this is a dress, then I'm assuming it goes like this. <laughs> Over like this, like a topless dress. Yeah, not topless dress, that's stupid. Like a strapless dress, but I don't wear strapless clothing. So I'm just going to wear it like a skirt. So I think the way it looks, if this is the way it is, then I'm going to accept it just the way it is. I don't think I'm going to modify it or anything. Um, I like it just the way it is. So um, that's one. And like I said, you know, I prefer to wear colors that are fall and winter colors, darker colors, um, because it complements my complexion more. But... I will say that um, if it's on the lower half of my body, I would every once in a while wear clothes that are um, that are of a brighter color, but not very often. Okay. Now I got this skirt. Now I I love these kind of skirts. I've loved these kind of skirts for years. Okay, and if you can tell, it's really big. Okay, it's big, huge, huge skirt. So I like the color combination. I don't think this camera is picking up all the colors. Okay, but I will tell you that it's a dark purple with black imprints, and then on the bottom it's red. But it's got a bunch of sequins on it. I'm thinking about removing the sequins. They look they could be very easily removed. Um, what I would like to do is maybe. <clears throat> Take this dress up like this. Ignore the fact that it's this this tall, okay? But I would like to maybe perhaps shorten it, add the hemline right here, cut all this off, add a hemline, and then therefore the, the dress just comes a little bit over the knee, you know? So you would see the black, the red, and the purple. So I'm gonna cut all of this part off here. Uh, what will I do with the extra fabric? I don't like wasting fabric. I really don't. So what I might do with it 
is I might make some headbands out of it because, you know, I don't like wasting fabric, but I really like the color combination on this. So, you know, this could be worn with a black tank top, a black t-shirt, um, a red chair shirt or a purple t-shirt, but I would prefer wearing it with black. So I think I'm going to go ahead and chop this one up. This is a very pretty skirt and you can get a lot of good deals at the thrift store when it comes to, um, clothing. Um, now some people are a little reluctant to buy shoes. I prefer to buy my shoes new. Okay. But there has been times in the past where I found some really cute used shoes. If you do buy shoes that are secondhand, you could go to the, like, any store like Walmart, um, Target, the dollar store even sometimes has disinfectant spray and you can spray the inside of the shoe to make it, you know, clean it up a little bit. <laughs> it's basically what it is. Um, this skirt I fell in love with. Okay, it's a little bit big, but I will go ahead and um, um, take it in on the sides a little bit. I will cut this right here so it goes a little bit below the knee. And I'm thinking about ab adding some sort of applique on the side, like maybe, um, I don't know. I always had a fascination with rainy day type things, like maybe an um, umbrella maybe, or um, stitch something on there that's kind of fun. This is a purple skirt, okay, and the material is rather thick. So it's like, I think it could be worn during the fall and winter seasons. I mean, you could probably, I could probably get away with it during the summer too, especially if I'm going to shorten it. But um, it's really cute, and I, I, I like this skirt a lot. Um, I don't like thick bands like here because I noticed that it adds a lot of bulk. Um, so I might, I don't know, I'll have to put it on myself and see how it works. But I do like this skirt. It's like more of a darker purple, which I tend to like purple a lot. So, um, yeah, definitely a keeper. And these were, um, these were fairly reasonable. But, yeah, when I'm, you know, I was talking about shoes. When it comes to shoes, yeah, you want to make sure that they're relatively clean inside. Um, and spray them with disinfectant. Clean them off as much as you possibly can. Um, and then you can wear them. I also suggest getting some, what do you call it, foot pads? What do you call those things? Cushions for your for your feet. Um, soles? I don't know. What do you call those insides of the shoe? That way you don't have to sit, I mean, you know, be standing in the same, I don't know, germs, I guess, as the other person so much. And uh, it, it, they're also used for comfort. I cannot think of what you call those, but it's a good idea to purchase some of those. And those can be purchased pretty pretty expensive. Um, also, I don't like the idea of secondhand handbags, although I have found handbags in the past that I did buy at the secondhand store. Most of my handbags I have bought new, but you can buy them secondhand. Um, uh, some people say it's bad luck. It's not, not really a good idea to have secondhand um, handbags, but you know, um, you, sometimes you could take a chance on it. I personally think, um, you know, if, if you like the way it looks, then go ahead and, and buy it. Um, there are a lot of nice handbags, though, at the, at the secondhand store, okay? Um, I'm going to be making another handbag for me and myself this spring. Um, I've been using that black one. I realized I've been carrying that black one around for, like, four years already. I didn't realize how long I've had that, that um, handbag. And I've made it. It was just—it's a very basic tote bag, but it's something that I really enjoy. I mean, it's—it's it's just convenient for me. It doesn't have zippers or anything like that, but it's just um, an open-faced tote bag, which is nice. Now, this is my favorite. I love calico print. I mean, calico print has always been my favorite. You know, with the little tiny flowers in the background, um, and this blue against black calico is just something I've always flipped out for. And I was actually looking for a full dress with like bigger calico prints, bigger blue against black, because it's, there's something about that pattern, that, that color that I really like. But I found this skirt and I fell in love with it. So I'm going to be, you know, shortening the length of this skirt and wearing it with probably a tank top or t-shirt or something. And like I said, these are not work clothes. These are just clothes that run around in the house and go out grocery shopping in or whatever. But um, yeah, calico print is definitely my favorite. And calico comes in all different kinds of shades, okay? But um, like, the, like I said, the blue against the black is just something I have always loved. And I remember having a shirt many years ago that, I mean, I just loved. I mean, I wore that shirt to death. I mean, it was so pretty. It had more of like a, I don't know, a kind of a Victorian look to it. Um, 
that was like my go-to shirt, you know, and, and usually I hang on to clothes pretty well, but I mean, I must have wore this poor shirt out, okay, <laughs> that's how much I loved it, you know, so chances are, you know, once I finish up this skirt, I will probably be wearing this skirt a lot, because, you know, it's, they're my favorite, so anyway, for all four of these, which were pretty reasonable in price, okay, like, these skirts were like about four dollars each, so I got out a for about um, about sixteen dollars, not bad, not bad at all. So yeah, um, that's going to be my project today. You know, just kind of working with. I got to wash these first, okay? Um, they've been in the hamper since I got them. Um, I like to make sure everything, all my clothes, my secondhand clothes, are are washed thoroughly, okay? And that's something you have to be very careful about because, you know, um, a lot of people they donate the clothes straight out of their um their closet or their storage units or whatever and oftentimes they i believe they come they're clean i really do but there's something about it they, i don't know why a lot of thrift stores attract that smell so um it's better to kind of wash it first as much as you possibly can you know um i like the idea of going to thrift stores you know um like, you know, because it's it's my first go-to, to be honest with you, okay? It's like, you know, if I need new clothes or something, it doesn't, except, okay, like for work clothes, I would say my first choice is going to go to a department store, okay? Because you want de decent pants, you know, you want, you know, but you can also find them at the thrift store, okay? But, you know, when it comes to work, you know, I would prefer most of my clothes come from the department store, although I do have some secondhand shirts, okay, that I have worn. Um, I have one shirt, and I believe this shirt is probably over 40 years old. I mean, I got it at the thrift store. And one thing I have noticed about, like, old clothes, like vintage-type clothes, they were made very well. I mean, the quality is exceptional because a lot of the clothes that you buy nowadays, just they tear, they fray, or whatever. This shirt is probably about 40 years old, okay? Why would I wear clothes? I, some of the styles were just really cool back then. And I did get, um, I have at least two of those kind of shirts in my closet. And they're still around. I mean, they, they they don't fray. They don't, you know, they're they're good quality is why. I mean, I like them. But also, I like the, the designs a lot of times in the, in the clothes. So that's my project today. I'm going to be hanging out in the house, working on my my clothes here. And, um, you know, I did work on some art projects yesterday. I bought this um, dollar store. I, mean, I went to the Dollar Tree. No, the Dollar General. Okay, I was. I always liked the little home sweet home thing, and I and I saw this was like three dollars, and so as I mentioned before, oftentimes I don't find you know um, art or you know things like that that I want to hang up in my house in the store. But I thought that was really cute, so I ended up buying it. And since it was blank, you know, I decided to make these two little. Um, I don't know. I stenciled these right here for temporary, okay? And the more I look at it, I'm like, I don't really care for those. I'm not really. I guess it's because it's so blue, and there's enough blue in my house already. And But oh well, you know, I kept thinking, maybe I should have did it in green. Who knows? But um, it is what it is right now. So anyway, that's my project today. I will be going in, washing these clothes, and then slowly but surely, you know, kind of working um, with it. If, if the fabric is big, like if you buy a skirt that's oversized, you can always just use, um, so oftentimes you could use a pattern. You know what I mean? If you get a skirt pattern, you can use a pattern and just use the fabric that you're using already for the, um, for the skirt. Or sometimes you don't even have to do that. If, it's, if the skirt is, fits you around you and you just want to shorten the length, that's pretty easy to do. You know what I mean? Um, I wish I had, like, you know, sufficient um, equipment so that I could actually show you how I modify them. Um, but, unfortunately, I would just have to show you the finished product, you know. So, anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video, and I will be back with another one later. Have a great day.